Hi, welcome to lesson four of Spoken English Zero to Hero program. Guess I don't need to introduce myself anymore. You come across me in previous lesson. If not, you can go back to lesson one to three. I'm going to imbue you with more word power today. So, we're going to learn phrasal verb, phrasal verb, and how to use phrasal verb in your spoken English. What are phrasal verb? I give you a few examples. Uh, look after, go on, come back, go up, get up. These are all the phrasal words, but simple. They are simple. Friend, don't learn baby phrasal verb or ABC phrasal verb anymore. Try to upgrade. Try to upgrade your spoken English. We're gonna learn more advanced phrasal verb, and they are all the buzz words used, commonly used words in everyday life. I'm gonna give you more examples later. If you use twenty percent of what I teach you in everyday life, your friends will have a different impression on you. Say that during lunch time. You want to invite a group of colleagues to join you for lunch, so you say, "Let's bunch up for lunch. Let's bunch up for lunch." Never heard of it. I hear, of, I heard of it in the radio last time. It's always on the radio advertisement. Let's bunch up for lunch. So say that you have a car to take others, and you want to in, invite people to uh, get up. Go into your car. So you say, uh, "Just hop into my car." If you want to go by bus, you can say, "Let's hop on the bus." Let's hop on the bus. So if your girlfriend is is coming along, you you say you can ask your friend's permission. Can my girlfriend tag along? Tag. You know, in Facebook, you always tag your friend. Tag photo to your. Friends, Facebook, the word tag, T A G. So your friend who used to expect you to say、uh, go into the car, now they hear you up. You have upgraded your spoken English to hop into. So they get amazed. Wow, cool. So after you come back from lunch, you you want to get back to work.、Uh, you are but you are stuck with a certain project. So you say I'm bogged down. I'm bogged down by this company's accounts and can't tally up. Can't tally up means cannot balance. So you you want to say gonna I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a break and goof off at work. Goof off at work, and I'm gonna log into Facebook. So when a project is lagged behind、uh, or pro procrastinated. You say the project has dragged on. The project has dragged on for months, and we need to see to it and complete it soon. So, if your your colleagues are very slow、uh, in the discussion, you say, "Let's get moving. Let's get moving faster." Okay. There are two phrasal verbs here, which I want to highlight to you, to the beginners. Get rid of and take something for granted, my dear. I have students who who have never heard of these two phrases before, and they think is is a、uh, very rarely used, and、uh, they they just want to get rid of them or take it for granted in the in the word power list. Don't. I tell you, I'm telling you that you you gotta feel worry if you don't know the phrases. You gotta get worry. Get rid of means discard something. You discard something you don't want. For example, your house has a a mouse, and you want to catch it. You want to catch it and get rid of it. That's how you use the word get rid of. It's very commonly used. It's commonly used. All right. Another word is、uh, take it for granted. What is the meaning of take it for granted? You neglect something. You neglect something, or it can be someone, your husband your, or your wife. You think it's not important, so because you think you always have it, you don't appreciate your spouse. That's how we use it. Take it for granted. Don't take me for granted. You say to your spouse. Okay. 
So have you scribbled down or jot down what I have uh, gone through with you just now? Don't worry about the spelling and all that because I want you to learn it in a normal, uh, a natural way. So many people, they, they, they pick up, they pick up spoken English just by uh, mixing around, communicating with people and imitating what people say. So they don't know about all the grammar, grammar and all that. They don't know how to spell, but they can speak. So let, that's all from me now and I'll see you in lesson five. Thank you.